the hunk are you? Good day, good day. <laughs> I'm mixing things up around here, yeah. Hey, welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dan Owen. I got something for you today. Yeah, this is the channel that's all and anything about uh, Land Rovers. And uh, we've been going through my uh, die cast collection uh, of uh, late, uh, coming up on a year here uh, in July. But anyway, uh, moving more stuff to the new location. I came across this uh, tub. Yeah. And this is just a part of uh, what I've got. And uh, we're going to be uh, putting this up on the wall. And I thought, hey, while I'm unpacking it uh, or putting it up on the wall, I might as well unpack it and show you. So let's get ready to uh, see what we've got. All righty. What I got here is some uh, pictures, and sorry for the glare there, but these are picture frames of ads that I have found uh, throughout the uh, throughout the years. So let's see if we can uh, get this around here and uh, kind of do this the right way, huh? All right. So these a lot of these are. Um, there are eight and a half by 11 picture frames. Some of them I picked up at the dollar store for just a dollar. So they're uh, plastic, but this is a wooden one. But uh, these are ads that I've um, all pretty much found myself. I really haven't gone out on the second market and purchased these myself. A lot of these I found uh, on my own. Uh, so here we go, this is a Range Rover one. And uh, I don't know what to do here with the glare and uh, still be able to, uh, you know, make sure that we can see this, huh? But uh, here's a Range Rover. This is uh, 1993 or so. Uh, if I took some of this out um, and flipped it over, you'd probably see an ad or a newspaper article that uh, where it came from. But... Uh, Anyway, this is the Range Rover Hunter. Let your friends drool over it. And uh, referring, referring to the dogs that you can carry in the back of your Range Rover. So, very cool. So, there you go. That's a pretty neat one. Let's uh, keep going here and see what else we got in the collection. And uh, these are just uh, not very, um, as you see, they... They've been uh, bounced around or whatever, and uh, I don't have them um, professionally matted in there. I just, uh, like I say, just put them in there, pick these uh, frames up at the garage sales and other places, but they're eight by eight and a half by 11, and uh, usually black so they don't uh, distract from the content. Here it is, precisely how sturdy is a Range Rover? Another mid-90s, 90s Range Rover commercial ad, I should say. Very, very nice. Do you folks have a, an ad uh, collection or anything? Maybe, maybe not. Here's another one. This one's kind of got a, a different kind of glass in there. Now there's an air suspension style for every size budget. There we go. We're talking about the uh, Air Jordans there, I'm assuming. I don't know. Does it? Oh, they're Nikes. I don't know. Does Air Jordans do Nikes or is that a whole nother brand? But anyway, there's another classic Range Rover in there. Beautiful, beautiful. Sometimes they tell us the dates on there, but uh, yeah. So very, very nice. All right. Next one here. Oh, we got Range Rover stuff right here on top. All right, look at this colorful one, huh? Now, this is uh, the uh, next-gen uh, uh, Range Rover. And uh, the most advanced 4x4 known to ape. That is hilarious. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, I don't think you can read that exactly to see. Uh, 1998, this says right there. Yeah, if you can read that. 1998. Very nice ad there. I like that one too. 
Like I say, I collect anything and everything Land Rover, that's for sure. All right, here's another one. All right, this is a classic. I think everybody's seen this one. And you thought your teenagers were rough on cars, on a car, huh? There it is. Very nice. This one again, uh, 1990 is this one here. Very nice. Then uh, the Rhino being the uh, mascot of uh, Land Rovers per se. Another cool one. I really like that one. All right, here's a little bit newer uh, Range Rover one. Very stately. The Range Rover. One part crochet player, one part rugby thug. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, pretty neat. See if we can see the date on this one. Uh, 1998. Yes, 1998. Pretty awesome, pretty awesome. I like that. I always dug the uh, the signias, or uh, I don't know what you really call those, but the the uh, royal family of everywhere that uh, gives them the rights to do what they're doing. <laughs> All right, here you go. Here's the Defender one. Yeah, looks like a country of, out in the country here in Wisconsin. Keeping people off the endangered species li list since 1948. Defender 90. Very, very nice. Hard top station wagon. Let's see if we can see the date on this one. 1996. So this was, uh, what was it? Wasn't it 96 the year they skipped? per se, so this is probably a 95 or a 97, yeah. All right, what do we got here now? Next up, oh, we got a Discovery. Hey, shout out to all you Discovery fans out there. Yeah, I had a couple of Discoveries too. Also, as well as, Land Rover Discovery gets continuously, continuous weather reports from its wheels. There you go. Nice, sharp. Always like that body style, too. That was awesome. What do we got here? 2,000. 2,000 on that one. Very, very nice. All right, let's keep going here. All right, all right, here we go. The Range Rover. Anything less is. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Ah, uh, what's the date on this one? 1998 on this one, yeah. Yeah, oh, so this is the 1999 Range Rover 4.6 HSE. Nice, nice picture there, yeah. Try to make sure I can uh, stop there on the text so you guys can uh, read that. All right, here's another discovery. Yeah, look at that. That is Wisconsin right there. Oh, hey, school in Britain is rarely canceled. Yeah, there you go. All right. Let's see if we can get a date on this one. 1995. Yeah, hey, look at there. Under $30,000 for that. That's pretty nice. Yeah, that's a green car. I don't know if you can tell that. That's a green car. I had, I had one uh, just like that one. Yeah, pretty neat, pretty neat. All right, look at this Range Rover. This is the old classic Range Rover. Breathe easier underwater. Now let's see what's the date on this one. 1991 is the date on the advert. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Yeah, I should uh, fix these and <laughs> get them in there. I, I, I am uh, hard to believe, but I am not a... Um, frame artist <laughs> can you tell here's a nice one i like this one the second gen it's like a china shop in a bull there you go it's kind of a twist on the old american saying of a bull in a china shop 1999 here we go there you go so a lot of these came from car magazines i would uh yeah, a lot of times uh, I'd buy the magazine just for the ad. Isn't that crazy? And uh, yeah, so I don't know what happened to all the ads, but anyway, here's one of my uh, first ones that I ever got, I remember. Uh, this is in a heavy metal 
frame, uh, heavier glass, pretty fancy. Uh, actually, you can see it's a little uh, oh, uh, faded from uh, being up on the wall at one of my uh, offices I uh, worked at. Life expectancy didn't just go up by itself over the last 50 years. There you go. When's this? Uh, 1997. So yeah, that's uh, probably the uh, coincidental, coincidental uh, I don't know. This is the one I'd want. The 1997 double A yellow convertible with the pla uh, fiberglass hardtop. Uh, automatic and air. Yeah, got to have all that. This is a 32. Yeah, I wish I could buy a Defender AA yellow for 32000 That'd be nice, huh? All right. Oh, we got one more and then that's it. We're going to call it a video. Yeah. There we go. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. This is uh, really kind of a cool uh, video of what we got going on. All right. You can see me in there. Don't look too hard. You might not like what you see. <laughs> Admittedly, some of the changes we made are for the worst. You know, for the worst kind of weather. That's right. All right. Let's see if we can get this backed up and in there. Very nice Range Rover. Yeah. Yeah, if somebody gave me one of these, I wouldn't mind taking it. Yeah, 58... 625 is said. What is the uh, 1998 here? Yeah, there we go. All righty, folks. Uh, I hope you enjoyed my uh, framed collection. Now, this is not all of them, I've got some more, but this is kind of the bulk of my ads that I have from uh, magazines. But uh, if you uh, like to see more, make sure you comment down below. And uh, we'll get uh, more out for people to uh, look at. Yeah, I got a couple more. All righty. Well, we're going to call it a video. Thank you very much for joining me today. Roverland, make sure you give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and tell your friends. Come over at Facebook. Join me on Facebook at Roverland and Instagram. Roverland channel. And have a great Rover day.